Imagine a day that you come home thinking, oh, I can't do anything. This meal is for a day like that. And if you are on a diet, you can omit the flour that I'm using. You can add extra eggs. So for this recipe, I'm using a few cabbage leaves, two carrots, one onion, one zucchini, one capsicum, quarter bunch of fresh parsley, salt, pepper. So simple and easy. If you don't have these ingredients, you can always go for whatever you have in the fridge. Let's start. Get a large bowl. Cut the parsley. Add into the bowl. Zucchini. Add in. Add the carrots. Add that into. Now the capsicum. Cut into strips. Add in. And the onion. that into cut the cabbage into strips cut it in half So all the vegetables are here. Now what you need to do is to add some salt and pepper and mix and leave aside about 5 minutes. So to gather all the vegetables you take only about 2-3 minutes. To chop them about 5 minutes so let's say it's about 8 minutes. So leave this to marinate about 3-4 minutes. So you will notice after leaving few minutes it gives extra liquid so that's what we want to know how much flour we need to add into. Once you leave it for a while it starts sweating. Now break the eggs into it. After mix well. If you are doing a very strict diet, you can add eggs without going for the flour. So you need to add some extra eggs. If you are doing for kids, you can separate this and add some cheese and cream. So they will like it that way. Now add a bit of flour like quarter a cup and mix. So it will help to bind the vegetables with the eggs. So put a pan on the stove at this time, add a little bit of oil into a pan and brush the oil all over the pan. You can just spoon it into the pan or use a mold like this, then it gives a nice shape. Put it in, press, so you know that it comes to a nice shape. And then take it out and do the next step. When you pour this, make sure that you mix it all the time because the eggs will go to the bottom and then it's hard to bind the vegetables. So I'm going to cover and cook on both sides. Make sure to cover all the time because the vegetables are raw. After, turn it upside down again and cook on both sides. If you like the vegetables to be crunchy, you can take it now. If not, cook a little bit longer. So now transfer it to a plate. So let's cut one and see. It's really a nice healthy meal. Less carbohydrate, lots of vegetable and protein. And try this recipe and don't forget to leave a comment. See you next time.